time, but go way back, a lot way back. But uh, what was he like as a teammate? Yeah, so I'm showing his age now, Orbo, if he managed to be one of my teammates, it was that long ago. So, yeah, no, when I first met Orbo, he's um, a very quiet, unassuming kid that come down. And, um, yeah, it was, uh, I knew he was from Ballina and I uh, had a lot of family myself from Ballina. So, obviously, I had a connection there and, and a point of uh, point of conversation. And he was very easy to get along with. So, it was, um, it was really uh, a really smooth transition for Orbo to come in. He might tell you otherwise, but... Um, He's got a couple of funny stories about rooming with me for his first time, so... Um, but no, he was, um, yeah, always just low maintenance. The guy just come in, just no no, no, thrill, no frills, just whatever job's required. And he's still doing it to this day, just minimum of fuss and just gets the job done. He was back then too. It doesn't sound like much has changed, but um, you're a teammate with him and, and now you're a coach of Mitch. Did the relationship change at all? Yeah, it's a, it's a weird dynamic that to play alongside someone and then coach them. But um, Orbo's made that transition for me easy. I mean, it was easy from my end. Um, all based on my relationship with him was a good one anyway. And um, he's such a respectful guy. And in the early days, he was could obviously see I was trying to figure out what to do and what was needed as a coach. And because um, of the quality of Orbo, it made that um, relationship transition really easy. And uh, I think the, the more times gone by we've gotten closer as mates um, albeit respecting the professional side of things and it's just the the quality of Orbo has made that sort of stuff really easy for me now. There's been over a thousand players on the jersey um, it's only two who have achieved 300 games what is it about Mitch that has helped him achieve that goal? I think his toughness is really underestimated I think um, just the, the you know, he's not the biggest guy, um, and we always laugh about that. But he's he's not, and he's you know he has to turn up day in day out, and and basically sometimes training you got to go to war as well with some pretty big fellas, and definitely go to war on the weekend against some you know bigger opposition. And I think about Orbo, he scarcely misses a game and scarcely misses a session. So I think he's toughness and endurance has been underestimated, um, and the mentality of that that comes at a real price. It's not easy. Um, it's not easy for guys to wake up every day irrespective of how they feel and turn up and, and offer the same product every time they turn up. Guys will tend to ebb and flow on how they feel or, or situations outside of footy but not Orbo. Orbo, irrespective of what's going on in his life, what's going on with his um, body and mindset, the guy turns up, presents the same and, and produces the same and has done for, for that whole 300 which is, you know, it's a remarkable achievement to get to 300 but in the style that he's done it, in the positions he's done it, he's, um, it's pretty hard to match. How important, for lack of a better word, is, is Orbo to the club and to the playing group and coaching staff? When you get asked these questions, it's sometimes it's a little hard to articulate what someone can mean, and it's very hard to, um, it's very hard to put the, their meaning into words. So, uh, I, I would say, I say is everybody's uh, everybody's aware of his integrity, his morals. Um, he's just such a great human being, and it never wavers. He's just so so consistent in his beliefs, in his behaviour. No crap, it is what it is, and um, everyone's got a real healthy respect for that um, that style of person, that style of behaviour. And for us coaches, having having um, someone that you can rely on. Mate, it might be five minutes before a game you change the guy's role, it won't matter. He'll still get the job done for you. Um, you know, anywhere, anywhere we've needed him, anywhere you rely on him, you might rely on him for some, um, for an opinion on something. The guy's just always, he's always there for you and he's been always there for the club as well. So it's really, uh, it's a tricky question to, to, to state someone's value with words, but um, I hope Orbo knows what his meaning is to obviously um, the club, uh, to the other players, to the staff in, and, and you know, to myself in particular, I've been mates with him for so long now, but it's really, really hard to state his value in words. As you said, you've been mates with him for a long time, you, that goes off the field as well, so you spend a lot of personal time together with each and, and I believe certain trips and things like that. Yeah, we have. Um, just, again, he's such a great human, it's really easy to spend time with him away from footy and we've got a, um, a similar passion in surfing and 
it's taken us to some different parts of, around Indonesia surfing and try and get away in the off seasons when we can but um, obviously life goes on kids and, and everything else comes into the picture so it gets hard sometimes but um, yeah look it's really easy when the, the guy is such a, a quality person and, um, and, a, and a great mate that it's um, it's just so natural to be able to go and, and travel with him and then turn up to work and, and be his coach and, and that's that's a credit to him just for, for allowing both to happen. Thanks, Fitz. Sweet. Actually, one more. Yep. Hard one, but if you were to describe Mitch in one word, if possible, what would it be? I, I, want, to, I want to bag him here, but I can't, can I? Uh, can have a go, we can try. No, nah, I want to get after him, but I won't. Um, I get the impression Mitch dishes it out. Oh, we have, we have, yeah, don't worry, we, we've got some, um, we've got some pieces of information we like to use against each other, which I'll, don't worry Mitch, I'll keep it under wraps for here now, mate, but, um, no, nah, look, one word, um, just quality.